Back with an upgrade for the Traxxas TRX4, and that is adding weight to the chassis. Uh, vehicle's a little bit light, so what I've done is I've gone back and added some weight to certain parts of the truck. Quite a bit of weight, actually. Most people will never do this. They like it light, so to speak, but no, I don't. Anyway, these are the weights I've added. You can see how big they are according to the size of my hand. Almost as long as my thumb, okay? I don't know exactly how heavy you are, but they're lead weights, okay? So what I did was I incorporated these lead weights into the bumper. They fit in there nice and neat. I just had to dremel out a little bit to get it to sit down in there, but I got them on both sides, as you can see, and here too. Now I've got clear silicone, or you can even get black silicone if you want, and leave them in the front of the bumper. Okay. Also, there's another location that I put the lead weights, and that's into the frame. Right here in the front of the frame. Let me turn the car around. Hang on. Okay, there we go in the front. See all that gook right there? Those are the lead weights. I kind of wedged them in there like this. Like this. You know, both sides. Like that. And then I got some silicone. That's just black silicone. It doesn't look pretty, but it's very effective. Black silicone, and it dries really well, so those won't be coming out. So I got four weights at it. And then I'm going to add two more to the back. So it's a a substantial weight increase in that see in the back bumper I'm gonna put two more here in the back okay right there in the back so that's gonna add a substantial amount of weight to the vehicle and it will not tip any further now it hasn't been tipping over with the four weights that I've added to the front but I'm just gonna go a little bit further and add some more weights to the back just to make sure and uh, that's what I've done so now I don't have to focus on I don't have to have aluminum wheels to add a weight because I've added a weight using lead weights from Walmart, lead fishing weights. For those of you who uh, are into rock crawling, you may want to do that. Me, I'm more into just trailing. A trail truck is what I use it for. You know, walking around trails, enjoying nature. Well, anyway, that's what I use this truck for. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, the lead weights will make it you know perform more realistically it may heat up the motor a bit but then again that's what low gear is for and i'm big about riding in low gear so it's all good if not if the motor burns out i'll just have to get a brushless system but if not i'll continue to use the 550 but yeah i think that's a good upgrade inexpensive nine dollars for all the weights three dollars a pack and you get substantial weight increase again good spots to put the weight are in the bumper they fit well in the bumper okay again let me show you the weight that i use oh here it is here's a lead weight that i use from walmart in the fishing in the fishing department okay they fit perfectly in the bumper and i'm going to put two more in the back and that's my mod for the traxxas trx4 to make it perform more on uh, more realistic okay later